Hi everyone, it's Rendon with TJ Free. A couple months ago, I did a video on the Raspberry Pi computers, and I showed some of the projects that I've built over the years, um, different um, automation, you can do robotics, you can just use it as a desktop computer, but it's a really cool, um, fairly inexpensive um, little circuit board uh, that can do all kinds of computing. And so I, that video was very, very well received. There's a lot of people interested in the Raspberry Pis, and um, something else I'm really interested in is these mechanical keyboards. And I've always thought it'd be cool to um, kind of build a custom keyboard that had the Raspberry Pi inside of it. And so you would just hook up, uh, plug in power and plug into the monitor and you'd have your uh, keyboard, you'd have like a mobile little computer you could use. Uh, well, that's what I want to talk about today because there's this company, Ziv Her, that has a product just like that. So you can build it from scratch or you can source and do, you can buy a complete um, package. This is like a keyboard I built from scratch, the Atrius keyboard. So this is not from the Zivher, but this is just a cool uh, project I did about a year ago, I think a year and a half ago. I have a video on the channel kind of talking about this process, but these things are just so cool, these mechanical keyboards. They're not cheap, even when you build them yourself, they're not cheap, but they're awesome and you can really customize them and make them your own. Here's just a keyboard that I, like an off the shelf keyboard I bought and I bought a set of keycaps for it, custom keycaps. Notice these ones don't even have any uh, printing on them. It's just a, it's a, it's blanks, but it looks awesome. And uh, it's a cool keyboard. And this has like, I forget what key, what actual keys it has. You can get all kinds of really, really cool keyboards. And so, and they're all different sizes too. Here's like a nice little small keyboard. This has your arrow keys here. And I'll do a video talking about all these different um, types of keyboards, but I really want to um, give a shout out to the Zivher company because they sent me a review unit to go over, and that's this computer behind me right here. So it's running uh, actually on this 4K monitor. It has a Raspberry Pi inside of it, and you can put like a Pi, any of the Raspberry Pis will fit. This one's not really anchored down now, but it has an RGB keyboard, so it's backlit, and you can program each one of these keys to be any color that you want. You can also do a cascading like it's doing now, like a nice cascading um, rainbow effect. And you, there's different built-in effects you can do as well with this. The keyboard can come with a built-in battery. So, and you can put in any size battery you want to. This is really kind of a, a hacker type project. You know, if, you're, if you enjoy creating and building, you can buy a finished unit. Or, but I recommend getting into this if you want to kind of tinker with it and expand it uh, more. I think it'd be a really good way to go. Uh, the case is 3D printed right now. Uh, they have a Kickstarter. It may have ended by the time you're watching this video. But on, with their initial product they're selling is with a 3D printed case. Um, and then they're working on maybe getting some more advanced cases in the future. So check their website. I'll include a link in the description. But I'm really impressed with this computer, um, this keyboard computer combo. It does not come with the Raspberry Pi. So you can choose whichever one you want to put in. Some cool things I imagine you could do with this computer and that I plan to do is uh, I've got these monitors that I like to use. Uh, it's a little portable thin monitor. So you could use this as a portable setup. And I wanna even get like maybe two of these and have a dual monitor, very light, very compact setup where I just have a little case. I take the whole thing and I can take this to conferences or I can take it when I'm traveling. Um, I wouldn't use it you know, on a plane or anything, but I would use it when I'm going to set up. I go to do like hackathons and things sometimes. And this would do really well there because it's a nice, it's a desktop computer, but it's a portable, very, very portable desktop um, as opposed to a laptop. Um, I guess each had, would have their own thing, but this is just, first of all, it does have just the cool factor and you can replace, oh, I didn't show, you can actually replace these keycaps. Let me show you how to do that. So you can just pull these keycaps up you just place that over and then you can pull off like this H key. We'll just gently pull and we can pull that and see um, these keycaps. And if you're not familiar with how the keyboards work, um, this is just a standard keycap. I'm gonna power this off and I'm gonna bring it up so we can see it a little bit closer. So here's that H key that I have taken off. Notice it's just printed on the side. So these keycaps look blank when you're looking straight on at them. And when you turn, you can see uh, what the letters are. Um, so it's just a, a style preference, but you can get all kinds of different keycaps. Like I have somewhere here, here's like a, a set of keycaps you could replace with if you wanted to have this look of keycaps instead. There's all kinds of different keycaps you can do. That's what I did with these. You get the style keycap that you want and then you replace it. That's part of this fun process of having a custom keyboard 
uh, if you're into that kind of thing. And the actual keycaps just press on and stay on there. This is a Gatoron switch, so this style, I'll make a video talking about more types of different switches, but this particular one is very quiet. And there's not an audible click that you would hear. Let's see here. Like with my Atrius, when you press down, you hear a click. Like the key actually clicks. Whereas this one, if you press it very softly, you don't hear anything. You just hear it hitting the bottom of the, of the if you press it hard, you hit it, hear it hitting the bottom of the actual, of the key. I'm gonna press this H back on here. You just press it on and it's in. But a really cool keyboard and it uh, feels really good and sounds really good. These are Gatoron switches. I haven't secured down the Raspberry Pi, so it's just floating in there. But it does have screws, so it has some screw holes here in the bottom. You just screw that in. So the wires I have coming out here, this is for the power, and I put a power switch right on here. So this didn't come with the uh, with the kit, this is just something I put in. And this other cable is just a regular HDMI cable going to my monitor. So I could just disconnect that and wrap this up. Oh, there's also a cover here that goes if you want. You can just put a cover uh, right over there, and that's kind of what it looks like when it's all covered up. So. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty impressed with this. Um, for the price, I honestly don't think, I know I couldn't uh, reproduce this. The RGBs alone are pretty expensive. If you were, if you were to build a custom keyboard like this, um, I thought about doing, um, they're, they're quite pricey. And you can switch these out, I didn't mention that. You can switch out keys, and you can also switch out the keycaps, but the actual keys um, can be switched out uh, easily as well. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing this video, and uh, I hope you'll consider this K100 Multitop if this is something that you've also thought about doing. For me, it was just a perfect fit for um, having an all-in-one computer keyboard. And so when I get my dual monitor set up, maybe I'll uh, make another video showing how that works out. But if you have any questions about the K100, um, I'll include the, the link to the website. You can find lots of information there, but feel free to leave questions below as well. Uh, or questions regarding any of these other keyboard projects or just custom keyboards in general. Look forward to catching you in the next video.